Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. So if you can't find any fruits or vegetables today, just go out into your backyard and take a <laughs> bite out of a tree. Whatever works. Whatever works. Hey, you know, I don't think this is what people imagine for the first full day of summer. No, what's going on? It's uh, cloudy, it's damp. We've got a little stretch of unsettled weather to get through next couple of days, Patrick. But uh, with any luck, we're going to be able to shake it out of here by the time we head into the... Uh, upcoming weekend. As we take a look, we'll go back to the evening commute. Showers cool and cloudy expected uh, with temperatures actually not getting all the way up to uh, 80 degrees. What we're looking at here is a period of rain moving through Rhode Island and into southeastern Massachusetts as we head into the afternoon. In fact, you can see all the rain over central Connecticut and pushing eastward right now. It's just starting to arrive in our western suburbs. As we take a look down at uh, the Providence area and again we are seeing uh, the steadier rain just starting to cross 95 up around uh, Pasco Harrisville they're seeing some more moderate rain showers and also around Rehoboth Seekonk and parts of East Providence getting wet but we have a batch of heavy rain right around Cranston Garden City up along uh, Oaklawn and that is all pushing towards the south and east this afternoon so it's going to fill in across all areas over the next couple of hours and we'll be dealing with this rainy and cool afternoon as temperatures right now are only at 68 in Smithfield, 70 in Providence, 71 westerly and 71 in Newport. So likely the highs pretty close to where they are right now. Robert and Fall River reporting 73 with drizzle and very humid conditions. While uh, Stephen Warwick says the clouds are thickening at his house, it's very humid. The temperature right around 69. So why not the view here? It's a front that's sitting right over our area that's the focus for these scattered showers and thunderstorms. And what I am also seeing are some additional showers developing over parts of southeastern New York and western Connecticut. So we'll watch for those to pass through as well this afternoon. So the bottom line is you are going to need an umbrella and a raincoat if you're heading out later on today. So temperatures for the afternoon with those scattered showers and thunderstorms in the lower 70s. Maybe a few spots get up to the mid 70s. But future casts here at 2 o'clock showing that rain continuing to pass through our area. And even during the evening commute could still see some rain and isolated thunderstorms. It should start to wind down later on this evening and tonight. And we are going to be left with mostly cloudy skies by dawn tomorrow morning. Now, uh, this particular future cast here shows maybe the potential for a little bit of sun trying to break out Thursday uh, for a time, but notice another round of showers moving in. So we'll be timing out these little batches of rain that try to move through next couple of days. There'll be dry stretches in between, but only limited sunshine, and that's going to keep the temperatures running cooler than average. So westerly, it's going to be a rainy afternoon, at least for the next several hours. About 73 in Wickford, 72 in Coventry, while northern suburbs, your highs in the lower 70s in Burrowville, Foster Center, and Situate, rain likely isolated thunder, and it's going to push all the way out towards uh, Massachusetts, the Cape, the islands, Plymouth at uh, 72, 73 in New Bedford with that rain developing, cloudy in Middletown, showers, isolated thunderstorms, and 73 degrees in Little Compton. So on the bay, visibility is poor in those showers and thunderstorms, winds making that shift to the east-southeast at about 10 knots. And we have a high tide coming up at 1.36 this afternoon. So still some scattered showers for Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the middle 70s. Saturday looks a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer. Even with still that chance for a passing shower or two. Sunday we continue to dry things out and it looks like we'll have dry and warmer weather for the first few days of next work week. You can get your updated forecast and live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day by logging on to our website at WPRI.com. So yeah, a little rainy and cool this afternoon. All right. We'll just manage somehow and be patient.